Hello and welcome to UDNS Marketing Solutions. Today I'm going to talk about how you can get creative, like where to get inspiration in order to be um, a much better graphic designer. So let me just tell you that the first thing that you need to do is to network with other graphic designers and you should see what they are up to, what they are doing by simply checking their profiles on social media, such as on Instagram. By the way, you, you can follow my profile, UDNS Marketing Solutions, and see what I'm up to. You can follow them, comment and like, so they know what you are, so they can comment and like on your profile page. And at the same time, uh, you'll learn from each other. So it's kind of like great networking skills right here. The next thing that I wanna show you is the tools that I use to get creative and get my creativity in there. So let's dive through it. Snap up, snap up can give me any type of uh, dimensions that I wanna do. So this time I'm going to do 2012, 1266 in order to do a food packaging uh, potato chips. So because it is going to be like a potato chips, so I'm going to get some ideas here. Um, let's try this potato chips. So let's see. I can choose basically anything that looks nice and I can name it. Okay, it sounds a little, it looks a little bit uh, big for me. So I need to reduce it a little bit. Oh, I got the wrong size. It's 1266 2012 yeah so here is a chips I can take this picture just for the sake of the video I'm just gonna play around a little bit and I'm just gonna write it here um, I don't know. I'll make up a name. Um, uh, fresh direct. And then another one text potato chips. Um, potato. And I can play around with the fonts. Um, and let's see what we can do here. Fresh Direct can be the logo type of, I would say, kind of like a logo. Maybe I want to change the fonts. Kind of like what looks like a logo. And potato chips has to be big. So I'm looking to 100 and change the layout a little bit. Uh, let's see which one is here is good. I think I have to do it lowercase. Yeah, potato. Yes. And then we can do this 200, maybe 500. Okay, 500 would have been ideal, but it cuts off the words. And the spacing, I would say a little bit like this too small okay I just have you know this type of this type of background um, let's see 
basically you can design anything and then you can just save it and, and download it uh, let, where can I share it let's say share image okay so I can download it high resolution that's what I like and then I'll go to smart mockups and I'll take this picture and I'm going to upload it from an image and then I can take this and this and it's fine crop and continue and that's where I get the ideas from so I can create anything in particular that might look amazing and I can share it on my website and also this is kind of like a portfolio for me and the background I mean let's customize the, the scene um, the scene right let's customize the scene and let's choose a different color no that's not a scene mm, none okay object color background okay here is the background let's color it a different way <sighs> how beautiful is this amazing okay this is amazing so here you have it give me a thumbs up if you have been inspired by watching this video and also comment below what tools you are using what inspires you where do you get this inspiration and also subscribe for more videos like this and check these two videos right now and get more inspiration from there.